Hello friends, this is Ronald with Coastline Robotics. Today I'm gonna show you how to build your own racing drone. We're gonna be using the CMR250 do-it-yourself kit, but you can use this tutorial to build any frame or kit that you own. If you like this one, we're gonna post the links in the description of the video. So let's get started. In this building we're gonna be using the CMR250 carbon fiber frame, 4 ESCs, 12 amp Simon K firmware, 4 1806 2300KV brushless motor, a power distribution board, 5030 propellers, and a CC3D flight controller. First we must take one of the bottom plates and install the mounting hardware for the PDB and flight controller. I'm gonna be using M3 by 18 millimeters screws with the nylon nut. Next step is to install the standoffs on the red holes. I'm gonna be using the M3 by 8 millimeters screws. The next step is to install the PDB. I'm gonna mount it with the two extra uh, connection points to the side because I'm gonna connect the cable on the side. I'm gonna fix it with M3 nylon nut. Apply plugs on the PDB. Heat the surface and pretend the connection points. We must do this really quick so we don't burn all the plugs. Next step is to install the arms. We're gonna be using the M3 by 12 millimeters screws. We're gonna be installing these on the blue areas in the picture. Use the second bottom plate to fix the arms and the M3 nuts that comes with the kit. Do the same with all four arms, but don't tighten until the end, otherwise you're gonna have an unbalanced frame. The ESCs comes with a servo lead that includes three cable, yellow for signal, red for positive and brown for negative. We must remove the red and brown cable to avoid problems with the flight controller. Separate the cables all the way to the base and then leave about one inch from the base because we need to put heat ring on the cables to avoid shorts. I'll cover both wires with the heat ring and apply heat on it. Repeat the same procedure with the other two ESCs. To solder the ESCs to the PDB, you must cut the wire to the appropriate length. Use tweezers to put the wires in place and apply heat with the soldering iron. Repeat the same procedure with the other three ESCs. Now we must create our harness and put the wires in order. Cut the main power supply cables to the appropriate length. This will depend on how you want to place the battery later on. Apply flux on the wires. And with the use of a little helper, we're gonna pre-team the cables. Now solder them directly to the board. Be careful with the polarity, otherwise you will be causing troubles to your whole system.
Now it's time to install the LED lights. I'm gonna start with the frontal LED lights. I'm gonna pass them through the space in between the bottom plates. As well as the rear one. Now we're good to go. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hostline Robotics.